Well, yes, um, cricket was uh, very much in the blood of every youngster, male and female, in the Caribbean um, back in the day. Um, from the time I can remember myself, I was playing cricket with a tennis ball or with an old millet can or, or something that we would improvise to make a, a cricket ball and, uh, and cricket bat. We used to play before we go to school, in the morning, at lunchtime, after school. Um, once it's cricket season, we were playing cricket all the time. Well, it was like walking to, into a heaven of stars, really. I mean, I had dreams and aspirations of playing for the West Indies. But when it actually happened, and then I, I was amongst greats like Clive Lloyd, Viv Richards, Malcolm Marshall, Joel Garner, Michael Holing. I mean, it was just uh, unbelievable for me, you know. But I quickly had to, to get my feet on the ground and, and, and get stuck into the, the reason why I was there. Um, it wasn't easy because there was such high standards set by all these great players. But I, I quickly adopt and, um, and, and establish myself in the West Indies side. Well, I don't know, uh, maybe just a bit crazy. <laughs> uh, to be honest, um, when I was a youth playing, uh, there was no helmet available, so I wasn't exposed to helmet. And um, actually, when the helmet was introduced, uh, I felt very uncomfortable using it. Even feeling close to the bat with the helmet on, I felt very, very vulnerable. And I, said, well, I'm going to back myself, back my eyesight, back my instinct, and I was going to continue uh, without the helmet. 